all these reviews are going to be a little bit faster and uh, less uh, in-depth than normal, only because I'm here with all these vehicles that I meant called the Texas Truck Radio. You may have heard of like Texas Truck of the Year, Texas SUV of the Year. Oh, we're here to drive all these and vote on that, but I kind of wanted to sneak little reviews in as I was driving it since I was doing it anyway. So a little bit more of my like commentary and stuff like that. So here is the Stelvio. I'll be driving this tomorrow. I didn't get a chance today. But can I peek in? Yeah. Here's the interior. Now I'll kind of get that out of the way. Love this on the Harman Kardon sound system. That's very nice. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot like the Julia inside, not surprisingly, um, which means it's nice. It's not like class leading, like say the Audi or the Benz, but you know, it's everything is very functional and very laid out. Has the start stop button on the wheel there. These metal chunky paddle shifters are awesome. You know, decent space in the back seat as well. He's trying to get back to his wife. And... Oh, pretty good visibility. And of course, panoramic roof I love this blue color the red brake calipers with the Alfa Romeo crest if that's standard that is such a cool touch I think it looks better in person I don't know if it comes across in the video uh, but look at those exhausts they look a lot more massive than they actually are if you get up close in the air I'll give you exhaust sound later yeah they're just like teeny little like that much but they look cool outside and uh yeah let's see this cargo area while we're waiting here i hate these things are cool oh it's cool because they're sliding the rails in here that's pretty nifty and then you can fold the seats here and there's a little led it's pretty nice back here this is for the airbag the led uh, Pretty nice SUV, and with the seats folded down, you actually get some cargo room. I kind of wish it didn't like jump out this much, but it is what it is. All right, let me close that down. He has five, I think his wife has seven daughters, you know, and, and she was so embarrassed that he got dirt. So I, I think he said the power numbers were a little higher than this on the than on the Julia, right? So there's the same they're rating, same. so 280 horsepower, 306 okay. pound-feet. Okay. It doesn't feel that much slower, at least in the back seat when I was there. Oh, yeah. So, that's cool. I'll experience it first time. Okay. Yeah. So, so that should thank you. be alleviated pretty fast. That's an unusual name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's my mom's uh, main name. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Oh, wow. I that's... thought it was Ferrari first, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not, not a particularly Ferrari common Ferrari. name. Thank you, sir. So what's the uh, pronunciation on it? Ferrari, just like the car. My mom's family is like distantly related to them, so that was her maiden name, and it ended up as my middle name. So that's your middle name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's kind of neat. My middle name is Arcure. That's actually unique which too. Is Sicilian. Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah. so that's cool. Is one I assume one of your parents then is it, my mother's maiden name. Yep. Oh, oh, same, same deal. Same okay. Oh, also, okay. my sister's middle name. It's my daughter's middle name. Oh wow. Okay. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it going. Keep it going. That's kind of neat. So, what mode is it in range? So now? you're in dynamic mode. Dynamic. So, that's yep. Fast. So that's yeah. going to give you your uh, you know your you know different shift shift points sure. to hold your gears for long. Do you mind if I faster. do the P route? That it's basically right, right, and right. It's what all the the. On, the I don't mind at all. They, just a word of caution. They've had some cops out there because it's a 25 mile an hour road and people have been driving a lot faster on it. But oh, you, you okay. can go whatever direction you like. It's perfectly fine. Okay. Yeah, that's true. But at least that way I'll get some curves because that's pretty yeah, much. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I scoped. I scoped this out on the, on the first day and yeah, it was like there are just not nope. as many curves as I wanted. Nope. Yeah, it's because this is that's where this SUV really shines. I mean, all the oh. It's quick. That transmission is awesome. Uh, it's amazing. It's not a dual. It's not a dual clutch. It's it a regular not, eight speed. It's right? a ZF uh, eight speed. Yeah, yeah. Yep, so it does a does a really good job. Yeah, I love this and the. I reviewed the Julia. Okay. Both of them actually. This trim and the Julia and then the QV. You know, it really kind of goes back to that. You know that. You know, we've been racing since 1911, right? Right. And, that heritage is, is present in every Alfa Romeo. So we don't we don't make you pay for it, and make 
like you step up to a package or right. something, it's always there. Yeah, weren't you saying Brembo brakes are standard? Yep, all four this? corners. That's awesome. You have four piston Brembos. Cool. And they do a great job. We did a, yeah. a, a, a dealer training experience where we had an autocross course and really got to fun. evaluate us versus the competition. Okay. It's just great standing on those brakes and just oh, I bet. watching a couple of stop for you know, an SUV that's a little heavier than the sedan, it's job. Yeah, it just picks up immediately. Those tur turbos are great in here. Yep, not a lot of lag. Just gets right in there. Power comes on strong. Little run here. Yeah, it does not run out of power either. Up to wow. Yep, keeps eating. Is Quite all say. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the little turbocharged engines like this. Because this is a two liter, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So a lot of them will run out of power right around there. So. Yep, it's got a pretty. Uh, a nice balanced torque curve and power curve so I, I'm you know it, it's it's obvious it's a perform premium performance SUV and I think right. it does best when it's uh, you know when it's in the in the higher revs that's really where it wants to right. be but um, still the low end power comes on with right it. yeah that is what I do like about turbos is that you like you know if under 2000 rpm you get all your torque very nice Yeah, the transmission kicks down immediately. It's awesome. Yep, and if you wanted, you know, if you want, uh, you know, a less of a spirited driving experience, you could just you take could it out the natural, as you're, as you're aware of, yeah, or advanced efficiency and you know, dial it in. I like to leave it in dynamic. I find it's yeah, it's balanced enough, and you can get that. It really you know, is. You know, the kick down comes a little bit faster, which is the steering is like. just like perfect. I mean, you can't even see how I'm uh, moving it there, but the car is responding very tight ratio very direct yeah. really enjoy the flat bottom steering wheel as well oh, yeah. the, and the thumb grips there you get with the, yep. the ti sport so now turning on to the curvy roads because based on the track times of the qv version of this suv that's where this should shine and these roads are bumpy too so it's actually kind of nice they are in, yes in both regards so the TI Sport, you have a sport tuned suspension, a little bit stiffer than the than the base, obviously, because you're going to be, you know, obviously having those more spirited drives. I love the cow crossing sign. Like, that's awesome. I know it's funny. We were when we were scoping some of these, we were you know, had these all these mule deer walking across. Yeah. It's it's just great country out here. It's, all right, here we go. Nice turn. Very balanced. Good turn in. This definitely feels more like a car that's raised than an SUV, it's, which is rare. Even though a lot of SUVs are car based, they don't drive as well as a car. This does. Plus, I'm, I'm glad you guys are being sit back there. Not everyone gets to sit in the back, and I think that, yeah. you know, for a vehicle with a 111 inch wheelbase, there's ample seating for, for four, you know, four adults for and sure. passenger vehicles. Yeah, show. it's very comfortable back there. Uh, decent legroom, even though the guy in front of me was tall. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, not often you get to, yeah, like you said, sit in the back. I think we, we gave it one of the, I'll call the, the ultimate weekend test. So I have two kids who are in, in car seats. We okay. had them and, and, and my wife as well. And so, and you know, we bounced around to the whole domesticated Costco thing. And also, okay. In one of these? In one of these, yeah. Nice. You know, went, you went to the park and went to the beach and all that stuff. Sweet. So soccer as well. So we really put it through the ringer and um, never, never were short, were short on any space. That's awesome. It just really does shine on these curvy back roads. Uh, I mean, everything is just perfect. The brakes, the steering, the throttle, and the suspension chassis, chassis they're all just perfectly balanced. It's probably the most fun I've had on these back roads in the entire truck road, yeah. Good. That's excellent to hear. But it's very comfortable, too. Like, that's kind of the bigger surprise. Um, like, yeah, I'm not bobbing around. and Yeah. A lot of time you get in a, in a vehicle that's marketed as a sport, and I think that... Yeah. Sometimes you know, you're like, okay, I'm getting a sport, and then the suspension is just too, yeah, it's just too tight. You know, or, which I would believe me, I love a tight suspension. Yeah, but, but it shouldn't punish you. No, nope. make it comfortable. Or the opposite, I've found is a lot of companies will put sport on an SUV, and it just means smaller. You get sport here, there's, it actually means something. You're stepping up to yeah. a, a certain level of package, and I think you're, you're yeah. delivered what you're what is expected. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely would get the sport package on here. All right, give it some beans as we turn in this car. Oh, well, drive system is really good. You can definitely feel it gripping and pulling there. Yeah, it does a good job. You know, standard all-wheel drive at our 41995 price point. And, uh, it, it's a well-tuned system. 
Yeah, at 41, this SUV is actually a really good bargain. Um, you don't think getting the Italian choice would be, but it is. So. Yeah, I mean, and it comes standard with a lot of nice, you know, very premium equipment. So you're talking the leather seating, the Brembo brakes that we talked about, HID headlamps, you know, remote start, passive entry, front parking sensors, aluminum, 18-inch aluminum wheels. So very well equipped as well. Yeah. You know, we don't, we don't force you to step up to things that are expected. And then if you want to get it fully loaded, this one's 53, I think, right? This one's 53 and change. Yeah, Mercedes, which is, I, I feel smaller than this, is 55, so fully yeah. loaded out. So this actually is a really good value proposition. Yeah. We and, think so. Yeah. And it's nicer inside than the Mercedes, but too. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, we, we kind of have some aeronautical themes, and it, I think it's very clean. It's not, yeah. we don't, I know the designers are very careful about tr not trying to overdo the design. They wanted to make it. Um, they wanted to make it premium, but they wanted to make it, um, you know, maintain its its driver's right. feel, driver's car feel, yeah, driver centric. Yeah, like I like how the nav. I said this on the Julia too. It's just like smoothly integrated in there. Like that's awesome. Yep, and it's nice when you shut it off. It's just a it's just a blank space, right? It just doesn't. Uh, it, it just becomes part of the interior. Right. Well, next time my speedy racers drive on. <laughs>